Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. And I eat massive portions of delicious food every single day to get and stay lean. So I have got a strange morning this morning. I am actually by myself for four whole hours. Um, because both kids are finally at school um, and it's been like weeks since I've had this time to myself so I'm a bit overwhelmed and I don't even know what to do with myself <clears throat> so I'm not quite hungry yet um, I need to get some emails done so I'm going to jump on the computer do loads of stuff I am going to make myself a quick um, carob first because you guys know I'm loving the carob at the moment if you haven't tried carob I highly recommend getting some into your life because um, it's like having a hot chocolate and a coffee in one without the need of any sweetener and it's no caffeine low fat and just like so darn tasty so let's do it i like a lot of carrot so i put like a couple of tablespoons of carob and then a little splash of milk and then just give it a little mix because I don't want it to like be all separate and dry and that kind of gives it a nice paste and then I just top it up with water mix while I go final bit of milk on the top okay so I am actually using oat milk because my soya milk curdles and separates when I do carob and I'm really sad about that. But I am quite excited because I'm in the process of buying a milk maker so I can make all my own milks, not using any oil or any horrible stuff. It's really hard to find like a whole clean um, like plant milk that I noticed anyway. There's one that you can get from Morrison's, but it's darn expensive. Um, so anyway, so I'm very excited about that. My brother's actually going to be getting it. My brother's in America at the moment in Texas and um, he's going to be getting it from there because I think I'm going to get the chef milk made or something. Apparently that's the best one. So let me know if you guys have that one or have tried that one before. Mm. Oh my God, that is amazing. Please, please get some carob into your life. Um, Okay, so I have loads of stuff going on this morning in terms of food that I want to make that I get, um, that I'm really, really excited about. So obviously when you eat this way, you do not have to spend hours in the kitchen making food. You can do it quick and simple. And hopefully I show you guys that in my videos like yesterday um, when I'm, I'm super busy and I just kind of throw stuff together. But this is also what I now do for a living which is amazing. Um, so I do actually spend a lot of time um, thinking about food and also making recipes, purely just to give you guys some really fun recipe ideas. So not to say that you have to spend loads of time making recipes, but as it's my job, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I really fancied making, basically, we've got loads of carrots that need using up because we bought a big bag of carrots last week and I'm not eating loads of carrots at the moment anyway, obviously you guys know, because I don't want to be too orange. My mum saw me yesterday, she was like, oh Amy, you're still looking a bit orange. And I was like, oh God. Um, so maybe I need to tone it back even more. Um, but basically James is allowed to eat carrots because he's not orange, so it's okay. So um, we used to eat this thing ages ago, which is like grated carrots. And then it was like a deep fried kind of frittery thing. So obviously I'm not going to do that, but so what I am going to do instead is I'm going to do an air fried version. So I'm going to grate these babies up and I'm going to turn it into like little carroty fritter things. Um, and I think that would be really yummy. So anyway, that's my plan for that one. Um, I also really want to make some yogurt this morning. James finally got me two ingredient soy milk. Um, this is the expensive stuff I was saying. So I'm going to make some yogurt as well. So that I'm thrilled about. Um, and then I'm also wanting to do like a Spanish, um, I think it's like a Spanish omelette with like layers of potatoes in like a chickpea flour um, kind of sauce thing. It turn, turns into like a little omelette thing. I'm excited about that and I think that'll be good. I've obviously got potatoes that need using up. So anyway, those are my general thoughts for food for the day. Um, I also have loads of rice and I was thinking maybe like a rice pudding could be fun or like a, oh, hold on a second, a mango sticky rice. That sounds amazing. Anyway, I've got lots of ideas, lots of things I can do. I don't know what I'm going to make today, but first I need to go and do some work and I definitely want to get a workout in um, while the kids are both at school. So anyway, let's go do this carob and go do some emails. Oh, I have been busy working away for the last few hours, but it's like 11.30 and now I finally realised that I'm actually hungry. That is the beauty. And this is how 
you should be getting in touch with your hunger fullness cues, you should be busy throughout your day doing loads of stuff, and then when you actually take time out of that to actually start thinking about food, that's when you know that you're hungry. If you're just milling around the kitchen all day, you might think you're hungry all the time, but get your head in a different place, go and do some other stuff, and then your body's like, hello, I'm hungry, there you go. So anyway, um, I am gonna make myself some mango sticky rice this morning because it sounds darn delicious and I've got loads of rice and I've got some frozen mango and I want something warming and hearty and just like snuggly. So I'm gonna show you how I quickly whip this together. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna put in it, but let's do it. Let's do it. Also, I am going to try my best to include all recipes and um, details of how I make each meal going forwards as much as humanly possible, because I know you guys really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna do my best. Okay, so while we made rice the other day, my husband put way too much water in and now it's super squidgy, so that's the other reason I want to do it like this, because otherwise it's just gonna not be very nice, to be honest. I don't think that was even a full cup. There we go, so let's say one and a, one and a half cups of rice, let's do that. Okay, so you guys know that I don't like using sweetener, like maple syrup and all that kind of stuff. Um, firstly, because it's like just wasted added calories that I just don't think I need. And also it overstimulates my taste buds when I do that. So it's really hard for me to honor my hunger fullness cues when something tastes so darn delicious. Um, and also I've really, over the last few months, whilst I have cut, up, cut out sweetener, I've really started to taste the sweetness in just non-sweetened non food. So, for this, I'm going to be sweetening um, my uh, mango sticky rice with a banana. And I know that sounds really weird, but trust me, I've done it before and it really works. When you use bananas for sweetening stuff, you obviously want to make sure they're really nice and ripe and spotty and amazing. Um, this one, oh, this one even just smells good. So I don't want big banana -y chunks, so I'm going to go in and mash this baby up. Also, obviously, getting loads of sweetness from the mango itself. Oh, a bit of skin on a frozen mango. Never seen that before. I'm going to go in with two. Two cups of frozen mango. A splash of vanilla. And then I do a cup of plant milk. So for this one, I'm just going for almond milk. Um, because this one is quite a good low calorie density one compared to other options. And this is up to you guys, but I also love a little bit of ginger powder as well to give it like a little, little something something. Okay, there we go. It's that simple. It literally took like a minute to throw it together. I'm just going to warm this up. And I also have been very, not naughty, but like crazy because I haven't made my veggies this morning. So I'm going to quickly whip up some veggies while this is heating up. Okay, so for my veggies, all I've really got in the fridge is broccoli and cauliflower. So I'm just going to put them together and I'm just going to uh, do them regular Amy style. Hot oh, dang it. Let's also just include the leafies from this cauliflower because I just don't want to waste them. Okay, so I've also just found some sliced greens in my freezer that really need using because um, we've had them for such a long time. So I think I'm just going to add them in with my veggies and just get extra greens in that way as well. Splash of soy sauce, bit of water. Okay, and here we go, all done. This is, oh my God, it smells amazing. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. You can also lower the calorie density even further by adding some extra fruity goodness, like a lovely apple. Okay, so there you have it. Massive, filling, delicious breakfast. This is obviously part two. I'm gonna wait for my veggies, eat my veggies first, but at least this is ready to roll for when I'm ready. I topped it with some extra frozen mango and pfft, this is to die for, guys. Mm. Mm. There's just so much going on. This is incredible. The crunch of the apple and then the cold from the ma like frozen mango. Like, my brain is just on fire. My veggies are ready. So I'm gonna take a pause on that breakfast and I'm gonna go to this breakfast and then I'm gonna go back to my other breakfast. <laughs> Look at the quantity you can eat for breakfast. It's amazing. Okay, so it's 20 past 12 and I'll show you what I managed to get through food-wise. I think I'm just not super hungry today. I don't know why. Anyway, I've had that many veggies and obviously I ate that before my veggies, but I've come to a point where I'm like, I'm not actually, I could keep eating. I could keep eating and eat the whole thing. 
But remember, I'm trying to practice not eating to the point of feeling stuffed, just eating to the point of feeling not hungry anymore. So that's where I've reached at the moment. And so I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to wait. Um, and then obviously I've, I can have it whenever I want, whenever I get hungry again. Um, but right now, what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to make my husband his lunch. Um, not because um, I'm a lovely wife, but because I want to film it. Um, so we're going to do like carrot carrot fritters um, and let's see how they turn out. I am filming it for Instagram, uh, so I'm not going to be giving you the recipe, but I will share with you the process a little bit. I've got my little Romy back, which is very lovely. We're just playing ball and I'm multitasking and I'm going to make the potato chickpea thing that I was talking about earlier. So basically, I've got these potatoes all scrubbed and washed. I'm going to slice them into really thin slices um, with some onions and then saute that for a little moment. Then we're going to have a chickpea flour mix on the top. Yeah! Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So if you love using chickpea flour, <clears throat> yeah. wow, good job, Rams. But you also want to lower the calorie density yeah. of your meal even further. Yeah. Adding potatoes yeah. and or veggies would be a fantastic idea. Ready, Rams, ready, steady. Whoa, go get the poly. Where's it gone, Ram Ram? Yeah. Can Rami get it? Okay, so I've sli sliced up those three potatoes. Yeah. Set that aside for a sec, and now we're just gonna thinly slice this onion as well. I love that she goes to her own drawer to get a little knife to do some slicing. Right, Rams, show us how you do pop it into this bowly. Clever Rams, yay! Okay, so we're just gonna put some salt in. Good job, Rams. Okay, so now we've got some salt in here, we're gonna give it a really good mix. Mix, mix, good job. Okay, while we wait for those veggies, we're gonna quickly uh, put our chickpea flour stuff together. So we're gonna need one cup of chickpea flour. We're gonna put it through a sieve, we don't want lumps. Do we want lumps, Mommy? No, we don't want any lumps, do we, babe? Yes, see, our chickpea flour is very lumpy. I love having a little special helper. So we're gonna do one cup of water. Mixy, mixy, mixy. I'm just going to give it a quick whisk to get rid of some lumps. Okay, I want to show you my carroty fritters that I've just put together. Romy is obsessed with the mayo. They're nice. So these are actually extremely yummy. And yes, I have eaten quite a few of them, even though they're carrots, but they're really yummy. It's a chickpea flour carrot combo with some onion in there. Um, and then we've got smoked paprika, uh, garlic salt, and some coriander powder. And I tell you, and I just also put a little bit of um, cornmeal in there as well to give it like a little something something. They are really, really yummy. It's going to be very hard not to eat them. But paired with the tofu mayo. Amazing. Just on the way to go and pick up Abe from school, I will quickly grab a pair to nibble on on the way. Okay, so we're back at home from the school run and... I made Abe a stir fry for his lunch today. There was a bit left over, so I'm just gonna eat this. And Abe's also eating some stir fry, aren't you, Tiny? Okay, so we're back to this potato mix. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of water in the bottom. So I'm just gonna go and quickly drain this water off. Then we're gonna mix in the chickpea flour. The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna fry these, water saute these, so that they actually cook a little bit. Um, so probably for like five, 10 minutes. So I'll bring it back when it's done. Be done. Okay, so Abe's helping me out here. And we're just going to put the lid on, so we're going to try and steam this baby. Okay, so I have been tossing and turning these babies for about 10 minutes, and I've been adding splashes of water as well, because um, I don't want them to burn. But see how they're caramelising up really, really nicely. And uh, if I just give it a little poke, they are starting to... Oh, let's have a little look, because that might be actually cooked. So now this part is optional, but I've got some black salt here, and it just gives it like a lovely eggy flavour. So I'm just going to go in with like a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, so I'm going to pour my chickpea mix into my potatoes and just toss it around a bit. So now we're going to transfer this mix in and we're going to hope that it doesn't burn. We're spreading this out. And lid goes on. Now we're going to let it cook. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 10, 15 minutes. If you run the spatula along the, along the side, you can see that it's starting to dry there. So now we're going to attempt to flip it. Let's see how we get on. Oh my gosh, eh? This is going to go terribly wrong. 
Do I need to Oh my gosh, Ava, I'm nervous. Ready, steady. Oh, but it's not. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Ready. Oh, is it really boiling hot? Boom. Oh yes, we did it. Fantastic. Nice, Steve. Yeah. I told you so. Thanks, Abe. Right, okay, now we're gonna put this back on the heat for another 10 minutes. While that's cooking, I wanted to figure out what I'm gonna have for my veggie portion this evening. And I've decided, I actually really fancy like a soup. So I'm really running low on veggies actually, but I've got one and a half courgettes and a broccoli and an onion. And I'm gonna put a potato in and I'm gonna turn it into a little soup. Um, quick and simple. This thing is finally finished. And I'm gonna do the final twirl, see what it looks like. Let's uh, hopefully, oh, oh, oh my gosh, that is a thing of beauty. Oh my God, it smells incredible. That, oh my God, I'm actually so, so excited about this. So with all things chickpea flour, they're always best when they're cooled. So we're gonna let this cool down before we tuck into it. So I have sliced it up just to cool it down a little bit faster. And let's do an official taste test, shall we? Oh, oh baby. Mm -hmm. There's an amazing texture in there. Wow. <laughs> Can't get better. So this is my yummy green soup. It's amazing how far you can stretch of one broccoli and one courgette and make a massive soup. And then I've got a full blender full as well. So I've just got the kids out of the bath. Romy is absolutely knackered. I need to throw my proper dinner together uh, really quickly, Charles. So I'll show you how I've done that in a very speedy way. Obviously, I already made my um, Spanish uh, omelette. So I've just decided to have it with an apple and two tomatoes, keeping it very, very simple. Food does not have to be complicated. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this with Roms while I feed her and do some work.